Hey boys and girls, Mr. A here. We're going to talk about a net. Now right here we have a nice badminton net that Mr. Baird happened to have at home. And what we did with this net is we took some old T-posts we had lying around and we just simply secured them to the top. And then you can obviously tie the bottom on there and you can find a spot to stretch it out. And then if you don't have a post hole digger, you can just hit it in with a sledgehammer, just find some nice easy ground and you can use this to construct your net wherever you want, okay? Now if you didn't have, if you didn't have one, man, you might have had to, you know, uh, count on who it was going to be. So, let's count on you right here. Right here. There we go. 18 feet. If I did maybe have uh, a net, I can always measure this. 18 feet. And I'm going to measure this side of it. This is uh, about two and a half feet. So if I didn't have all this material, we are going to show you how to construct your own net right here. Alright guys, we're back in the quarantine workshop and we're going to show you how you can make your own net out of some easy materials at home. Okay. So what we got right here is just an old t-shirt and uh, this is great. This is going to be the bottom portion of our net. So all we've done is we've taken a pair of scissors and we have just cut down the t-shirt Make sure if you're uh, using an old pair, you're careful, okay? And uh, maybe if you're a younger person, like one of mine, you might want to ask mom and dad to help you out, okay? So I'm going to continue to cut until I get to the end, okay? And I don't want to waste too much video showing you this cut here, but I'm going to get all the way to the end, okay? And then I have a real nice netting section that's going to be about two and a half feet, okay? Once I cut quite a few of those, make sure you don't use mom's nice white shirt, okay? I'm going to then take a piece of rope, okay? And our measurement was about 18 feet. I'm going to want a couple more feet so I can tie it around a tree. Um, so I'm going to probably want about 22 feet. But I'm going to take these right here, and you can tie it any way you want. Nice easy bow tie. You could cut it at the end and tie it. I'm just going to loop it over like this and tie it through. So this is one way to tie it. Okay, maybe I'm going to tie it. There we go. Maybe I'm going to tie it. Here we go, here we go. So you can tie it like that and it's going to dangle down. Or another way you could tie it, take your scissors here. Cut the very end, okay, and you could just loop tie it like this, okay. So there's a few ways you could tie it. It's really up to you how you want to do it. I like the other way better, okay. And we're going to continue to tie all these on until we have a net that goes all the way. Alright guys, so we've put another one on there. We thought, hey, you know what, there's another way you can tie it on. We're going to cut it in half like we just did with our scissors, okay? We're going to hang it up like we'd hang up our jump ropes, find the center, okay? And then, we're just going to do a simple knot right there. And man, that's going to make it go a lot quicker. Look at that homemade net. This is going to be beautiful in your front yards. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see, Mr. Arbogast and I have strung our line. One of the things that we want to do is like uh, we just picked a couple trees and you'll see that we set the height of the net. It's a pretty simple deal. We just set it shoulder length, shoulder height, you know. So you, you want to try to find, uh, you know, and Mr. Arbogast and I, we're probably about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, so about 5 foot up. And then you can see the knots, what we've done depending on where our our area that we can actually get this you know we just use two trees and then uh, we can slide as you can see Mr. Arbogast is sliding the net down and uh, we're making a little playing space okay you don't have to use all the the cord if you would uh, but uh, this is kind of how we we've, we've done it and then uh, you can see he slid those down they look great and now we have a good old-fashioned homemade badminton court 
with homemade equipment and I think we probably got about five or six bucks wrapped up into the whole thing. What do you think Mr. A? I think it's great and the nice part about it is you can dual purpose this and that if you want. You can raise it up a little higher and you can use it for volleyball. And we'll talk about volleyball next week.